<laughs> I'll give you one place where I'm at. My favorite place in the house, the bathroom. Why do I always say that? It's just a joke. <laughs> but look at this. Here's the toilet. What do you see on top of the toilet? Yes, the toilet paper. I like this tile. That's pretty cool around the tub enclosure. And I'm guessing that the toilet paper holder used to be right there. Because you know what? On this side of the cabinet, where the toilet is, there's no holes ever on the edge of there. And I think that's where a toilet paper holder needs to go. Now what else do you happen to see in this bathroom that's not here? There's no place to wipe your hands. There's no towel ring. There's no towel bar. There's actually no room for a towel bar unless you were to put it above the toilet up there. Kind of a small one. But I've decided, yes, I've decided this on my own, <laughs> that I'm going to put a towel ring right here for a hand towel. Now, before I went to the store, I did something that you should always do. You look at the fixture, the faucet, and that looks like brushed nickel. So when I went to the store, I found something that was brushed nickel. And here's the toilet paper holder, and here's the paper, or here's the towel ring. And I'll show you that in a minute. We'll probably split this up in a couple different videos. But you don't want to go to the store and then start guessing at your stuff. Look at your, look at your hardware on your cabinets. That looks like brushed nickel. And you always want to kind of take that into consideration. You don't, you wouldn't want to put oil rub bronze ones on, or maybe uh, bright chrome or something like that, then it's not going to match everything else. I'm always about matching the existing conditions. So this video, what's it going to be about? How to install the toilet paper holder. Stick around. Now I haven't opened this at all yet. Now why should it be difficult to install one of these? It's really not. But a good thing is always to look inside and here it is son of a gun there it is you see that that's probably the most important thing in there it's the template and you can just hold that up line it up and poke some holes in the center of the top hole the bottom hole or in the middle if you want just one one screw there you could do that you see because if you don't use this, and sometimes you, you don't find this in the box. Maybe sometimes you look around and you don't find it and you think, oh, there it is. It's on the back. I've seen them on the back sometimes or on the side even. You know, but look around because the last thing you want to do is to open this and you think, oh, I don't need that. I've just always installed them by holding this or measuring it you know, a different way. You know, yeah, you could hold these and hold your mouth just right and line this all up like that and get a tape measure and measure from center to center and hope that you, you know, do you push, do you push it in, do you hold it out, and then you find out it's too tight or, or it's just a hair too loose, especially for towel bars, you know, more, more than these. But, you know, I mean, how are you going to know exactly where the holes are going to line up and all that? And then you're going to you're going to hold up each one of the little pieces on the wall. You know, I, I don't like guessing. I really don't like guessing. So that's why. That's why I'm going to use this template. I better be careful with that template. I already got it wet. Nah. Okay. So I don't even need this right here just yet. All I'm going to concern myself with is these little ends. And obviously when you put these on, you're going to want to face them out. 
it's pretty easy. You can read the directions. There's a whole little template in there for directions too. You know, but here's your little goodie. And you don't want to, obviously you don't want to put it on the wall that way. You're going to use it that way. So then you're going to have to decide. Do you want just one screw in there or two? Usually I put two. You know, that way it kind of sucks it up there nice and tight. Okay. You can decide what, whatever it is you want. And if you're going to put it in sheetrock, in my case, I'm going to put them on the side of that cabinet. You know, right over here. Okay, but if you were to install them in sheetrock here, they even give you some nice little plastic anchors. And you screw that into the wall, you know, poke a hole with a scratch awl or a small little tiny screwdriver. Sometimes if you have just a little screwdriver like that, you can use that. You can kind of poke that in there. But you see the benefits of this template? Then you can kind of poke right exactly where they are. You can put a little thumbtack in there or something. Then you can kind of level this up or measure it and all that. And then poke your holes in the other. And that gets you exact where you want. Because look how big this, this tip is. If you're off a little bit, the screw only has enough room for one spot, you know. If you're off a sixteenth or an eighth, now you've got the holes in there. It doesn't line up exactly and all that. Okay, but in this case, I'm just going to use these screws right here and put it into the side of the cabinet. Okay, so far so good. Let's do it.